Let's talk about React Native project ideas. But before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button down there and to give us some thumbs up. And if you are watching this on social media, link for the full video you will see there or there. everyone, it's Anna from Duomi and welcome in the next video. Today I'm going to continue with the list of projects, ideas which you can create to build your portfolio, to learn a new technology and to get some experience. I don't know if you remember, but we already have some kind of uh, lists with project ideas for JavaScript, React, HTML, Python and even Node.js and I think there's something more just not, don't remember right now, but I will link all of the videos below so you can check it out and get lots of ideas for new projects. When you are learning new technology, new framework, new programming language, it's very important to practice your skills. That's why every programmer has to create a few projects by his own to learn how the technology works, how it's written inside, what are best practices using the technology or programming language. That's why today I've got for you nine project ideas for mobile applications which you can create using React Native. I hope you're as excited as me to start and find out what kind of applications you can create to build your portfolio. Also, I would recommend for you to try to publish any of those applications on Google Play or App Store or any other platform to get experience with publishing and also maybe somebody will like your application so you can get some additional money. Let's start! First product idea is building a time tracking application. It can be very easy, it doesn't have to even have login because you might have it on your phone and just save some of them. You don't need to create user for that. What functionality should your time tracking application have? For sure, you have to put there like form where user can type what kind of activity he is doing and start tracking your time. Would be good if a person could also add some label category to check at the end on what he or she spent the most of the time. Also, you can think about some kind of uh, analytics, which will be gathered after, I don't know, seven days or 30 days to show people where they lose their time. Productivity is crazy popular right now. Everybody wants to do a lot of stuff. So I think this kind of application can be a great idea. If you don't have uh, ideas for design, you can create something like here on my right and you can also find in the internet or you can check out our blog where I will put some links to the ready designs that you can buy. Let's go to the next project. Do you also create notes everywhere on every piece of paper? If yes, for sure you know that noting application can be something awesome. You can have everything in your mobile. And also maybe you are creating more kind of some same notes like, I don't know, shopping lists, for example, then you could even create templates. What your notes application should have? Of course, it should have a listing with all the notes you've created. It should have a detailed view of every note. It should have a form where you can type the note and save it. And as I mentioned, maybe you can create the ready templates which you can use for different types of notes. The third project idea is not nothing special, I would say, but we don't have to make it so boring. Because the third idea is to create a calculator. But you don't have to create just a normal calculator that will tell you what is 2 plus 2. You can think about something creative. For example, 
you can think about calculators that, that will calculate you how much donuts you can eat, eat after training. Or you can create the calculator for mortgage if you want to be more serious. Or you can create a calculator that will count the days for Christmas or your birthday. Here your cre creativity is a point. So think about it and this is the third idea. Let's go to the next one. Idea number four, fashion e-commerce for mobile. Yeah, retail online went like crazy in the last few, few months, last year, since uh, all this pandemic stuff is around and we don't go to normal shops, we are buying stuff in internet. That's why I think that creating an e-commerce can be something that will give you experience for a real job because you can face this kind of projects in your real employment position or as a freelancer. So it's really good to have this kind of project in your portfolio to be able to show that you have did something like that before. Also, maybe you can start selling something in the internet and use your own e-shop. What kind of functionality should it have? For sure, you should have a listing of products, you should have detailed view of product, you should also have the card with payment functionality. And simple, that's it. The idea number five is also about what's going on right now. When we need to go to the doctor, we don't have to go to a normal visit lately, because we can do it online. And that's the idea for the sixth application, creating a medical app with online consultation and online visits to the doctor. What this kind of application should have? For sure, you should put there some listing of the doctors in the area of the user. You should put the details view and possibility of ordering a visit, like booking visit. So this is kind of, I would say, different feature from what we've got right now. And you could create some kind of video chat or normal chat to give them possibility to talk to each other. I think uh, building video chat and this video streaming stuff can be very, very good for you because you will know like the newest trends, how it works, so it can be beneficial for your next job. There are a lot of applications that will deliver you food nowadays. I bet that even you have at least one time ordered your favorite meal from the restaurant somewhere in the city. Yeah. And these kind of applications are pretty cool, but you can also learn a lot from building applications like this. What do you have to think about in this kind of application? First of all, you need to list items. So it's like almost every application needs to have a list. After that, your user needs the possibility to order stuff. So some kind of system which will allow to press button, order, put the address, and that's it. Also, you will need to take a look on the application from the other side, from the side of the delivery guy and the restaurant. So this kind of notifications and different types of user can be also a great idea where you can learn a lot. The idea number seven is about taxis. Getting a lift nowadays, it's not that difficult. You don't have to catch the taxi like crazy on the street. Right now, it's enough to Take your phone and just order any taxi or take one of those popular startups like Uber. And yeah, taxi company decided that they want to be so comfortable like the startups like Uber are. That's why right now there are every taxi company that almost every, I think, that have the application to order the car. What this kind of application should have? First of all, it should have kind of gal location, which can detect where you are and on the other side it should also have the ability to type the address manually because maybe sometimes the user want to order the taxi for somebody else. So that's the idea number one about the features. Also you should provide the feature of tracking the taxi driver so to be able to check how far is he or she and in which time he or she will be at place so you can leave your flat. Another activity Another functionality that you should put into this application should be kind of notifications and option to accept the ride for the driver. So we also have to take, think about the other side of 
of the application and different type of users. Besides that, it would be great if you can implement payment system for that kind of applications so users don't bother about paying by card in the car, just money will go from their card after the calculation of the way the driver did. Let's go to the next application. Fitness world is growing like crazy. Fitness clubs are like full if people can go inside. But if they can't, they need any personal trainer or kind of application that will tell them exactly what to do at home to stay fit and give them possibility to stay fit even at home without another people, special staff from, from the gym. So, creating an application for fitness buddies can be like a great option. What kind of features this application should have? So, first of all, it should help you to decide which training plan is the best for the current user. Besides that, you should have a listing of training plans available and possibility to check out every of them. You could also put some videos about each exercise in the training plan. The next functionality that should be there is kind of starting the training plan. So, for example, your user is going in the morning to, to do the training, he just press start and you calculate how much time of the break you should have between different exercises and series and sets. I think it's a great idea and selling this kind of application can be great for you. The idea number nine is about dating app. Some time ago, world went crazy about Tinder. Yeah, they did. And building this kind of application can help a lot of people and make a lot of people use them. It's kind of a social application also, because you need to take care about interaction of two users. What kind of functionality should this kind of application have? First of all, user system. You need to allow users to register, fill in the profile, and be able to log in every time to the app. Another thing is listing of people who might be attractive for the person who is currently logged in. Next thing is possibility to somehow let them, let them to connect to each other and start talking. And I think that's it about this kind of application. Of, of course, you can put there whatever you think is necessary and is important for application like this in your mind. Well, that's all. This is nine ideas for the React Native projects, which you can create to build an awesome portfolio, to practice a little bit, to learn how this all stuff works, how native components works, how, how, what differences are between iOS and Android and what you should do differently. And also try to publish any of those applications so you know what the process is, what you should avoid, what is important for companies like Google or Apple to publish your application and maybe it will be easier in the future when you will help any client. Great, I hope you liked the video and if yes, remember to give us some thumbs up and also you can share in the comments what kind of applications you've created to practice or maybe to earn some additional money and what you enjoy enjoyed the most about it. If you don't subscribe the channel yet, remember about pressing the red button down there and to give us thumbs up, comments and visit our social media and different listings like this. There's one more thing. If you would like to practice React Native uh, theory a little bit, don't forget to check out our React Native course at Duomly. I will put you the link below so you can check it out. Have a great day. Bye!